guys, I'm Alex from Ringo Death Star and I wanted to share some tips for finger picking on the bass. It seems like a never ending debate over what's better, playing with a pick or playing with your fingers, but I think if you want to be a versatile player that it makes sense to be adept at both. I started out playing with my fingers so it's what I'm most comfortable with. That being said, in the last 10 years or so, I've really tried to incorporate playing with a pick into our sets. So if you see us playing live, you'll see me switching back and forth. Um, I just think that some songs really work better tonally and play better with a pick, and vice versa, I think some songs really lend themselves to finger picking. A couple other things I really love about finger picking is the sound. I think it gives you a much more full bodied rich tone, which sounds like I'm describing a wine. Um, but also I just feel more in control when I play with my fingers and more connected to my instrument. The first thing you'll want to think about when playing with your fingers is hand placement. I play a Fender Jazz and so for me it feels most comfortable to anchor my thumb on the top of my first pickup. Um, I would highly recommend anchoring your thumb. Uh, depending on what you play, it might feel best just to anchor it on your base or get a thumb rest, but it'll give you a lot more control and dexterity when you're playing with your fingers if you're able to anchor it. Um, next thing I would say is the actual motion of picking. I've seen some people kind of pluck at the string. Um, that will take up a lot of time. It gives you kind of a clunky sound and you won't get much speed when you're playing like that. You're really gonna want to kind of just pull across the string gently. I'll show you what I mean here. Um, so if I'm playing this A string, you'll see I'm gently pulling across and landing on the E string, just like that, like walking. If I'm playing the D string, pulling across, landing gently on the A string. Some people are adept at playing with one finger, some people can play with their whole hand. I have always just played with my index and my middle, so that's what I'll be talking about today. When you're playing with just your two fingers, it's gonna be really important that you're alternating back and forth between the two. It doesn't matter if you start on your index or your middle, just that you're going back and forth. If you think of it kind of like running, um, if you're running left, right, right, left, right, left, left, you're gonna get tripped up and it's gonna be hard for you to pick up speed and get anywhere. Same goes for when you're finger picking on the bass. You're gonna get a lot more speed and it's gonna be a lot easier for you to play if you're literally alternating back and forth. A great way to practice this is by picking a scale and literally saying index, middle, index, middle as you're playing it. I like this kind of bluesy one. So you could do that, and when you're ascending, we're gonna be practicing our alternating, going index, middle, index, middle, and when we're descending the scale, we're gonna practice what's called raking. Um, I'll cut to a close-up so you can see what I'm talking about. So when we're ascending the scale, we're gonna be practicing our alternate finger picking. I like to start with my index finger, so that's what this will look like. Index, middle, index, middle, index. Now when we're descending the scale, we're gonna do what's called raking. And instead of alternating back and forth, we're actually gonna be doubling up on a few of our fingers. And I'll show you what that looks like. Starting once again with my index finger. Index, middle, middle, index, index. Now just to slow it down and kind of show you what I did there. Index, middle, middle. Since I'm playing the D string with my middle finger and it is landing on the A string, we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of it being on that A string and play it with the middle finger. Middle, middle. Now we're going to the index finger. Index, index. Once again, doubling up, I'm playing that A string with my index finger. It's landing on the E string, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull it through and finish out that round. Index, index. So all together, it's gonna look like this. So now that you've gotten the hang of alternate finger picking and raking, the next step is really just to practice. The more you do it, the easier it'll become and it will really start to just feel like second nature. Um, I really love playing with my fingers. I think it's so much fun and I hope that you will enjoy it too and that you found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll talk to you again soon.